Now, it's just over 40 years ago that one of the biggest UFO hoaxes in Britain was exposed. A group of apprentices from the Royal Aircraft Establishment in Farnborough planted a string of flying saucers all across the south. The Rag Week stunt caused uproar in Whitehall and almost led to a diplomatic incident. Of course, there have been plenty more UFO sightings since then. Now, one man who believes we are not alone is Edward Ashpole. A lot of UFO sightings could, can be explained. You know, they're, they're, they're not alien craft, so most of them are not extraterrestrial. Some of them could be. Physics and chemistry is universal. You know, the same laws of physics and chemistry that apply here apply throughout the universe. So what formed life here four billion years ago would, would have been present on similar planets with similar conditions a lot much longer than four billion years ago. And so life could have evolved on, you wouldn't really expect life to evolve elsewhere. You wouldn't expect life to be a one-off phenomenon that only happened on Earth. If you looked up into the night sky in the south back on the 25th of January 1938, you could have been mistaken for thinking you'd seen something from another world, because nature's finest light show was visible as far south as Portland. Francesca Bellani from Wareham wrote to me to tell her her mum had seen the northern lights here in the south. We saw the red with white beams of light. There were many stars, also two shooting stars. Gradually the red died away. It came up again at about 8.30. Now the sky was a greeny black and we saw orange light. We looked at it out of the dorm windows. This lasted till 9.00. Altogether, the Aurora Borealis lasted from 6.30 to 7, then from 7.30 to 9 p.m. They usually last only 10 minutes, so it was a real phenomenon. On the wireless, we heard that it was due to a sunspot, they thought. In fact, my aunt uh, said to me the, just the other day that she can't imagine how anyone who was present could possibly ever have forgotten such a, an experience because it was, everyone was out craning their necks to look at it. What have you seen in the skies above the south? Do you believe we're not alone? Are you one of the UFO hoaxers? I'd love to hear from you. Go to the website and get in touch. Now you may remember a while ago we were talking about county flags. Well, this is the winning design for the Isle of Wight. It came up trumps in a competition and will be officially launched next month. Thanks to everybody who got in touch with me about folk remedies. Now, I'm afraid I can't reply to everybody, but I do read all of your messages, so keep them coming in. Sarah Fairbairn in Hazelmere told me she puts cork under the mattress to cure cramp, while George Connell in Reading says rubbing the skin of a broad bean over warts gets rid of them. Now, this week, I want you to tell me about what you've seen in the skies above the south, or I want you to let me know if you were one of the Farnborough UFO hoaxers. You can go to the website and get in touch, or you can write to me at Havelock Road, Southampton, SO14 7PU, or you can leave a message on 03700 100 870, and look forward to hearing from you.